Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're looking at these two knives. These are Benchmade Griptilians. And uh, I want to talk to you in this video about why the Griptilian remains my favorite everyday carry knife. Now, if you are a follower and a fan of knife news, you may know they just did a series, the top 25 indispensable pocket knives, and the Griptilian came in at number three. Now, for me, this is number one. And again, in this video, I'm gonna share why that's the case. So what you're looking at here, this is one that I got. Um, this is really my first investment in a knife. So this ran me, I think, $89.99 at a local sporting goods store, Kittery Trading Post, just across the border in Maine. And, um, you know, I was looking at a lot of different knives and I asked a lot of different people. A lot of people just said, you know, if you want to invest in a good one, a good everyday carry knife, Benchmade is the way to go. So I got this one and this is with the modified sheep's foot style. It doesn't have a thumb stud. It's got the little hole there. Uh, this has been a fantastic knife for me. I actually just got it back today from Benchmade. They were sharpening it and cleaning it for me along with a friend's um, automatic knife. And so I went to pick it up over at um, Kittery Trading Post where I got it the first time. So it was kind of a trip down memory lane. What you're seeing up top here is a customized Griptilian. Uh, just a you know, I want to show these two basically because you're getting the different features. So you're getting these this old school handle versus the new one, obviously different colors, different blade styles. You're also getting serrations versus non-serrations. And then you're also getting uh, the, the hole to open it versus the thumb stud and then black versus your satin finish. So a lot of different styles here. I'm also going to roll in footage of other Griptilians. I've got friends who've got different styles of Griptilians um, and different ones they like. And so I want to show you what they uh, what they look like. But let's talk about the Griptilian and why I like it so much. All right, so reason number one why I really like the Griptilian is your steel. So this one is 154CM, and uh, you can get this in a variety of different steels now. So there's a, a couple different options when it comes uh, to the steels that you can rock on your Griptilian. Why I like 154CM, uh, two main things. One is that it's easy to sharpen, and two is that it just seems to keep an edge really easily. Now, I want to talk about the blade shape in a minute because that connects into the steel um, but because I've had good experience with 154 CM on this knife that I've had for a long time, I also, um, you know, I've, I've used it on other knives and I've liked it on those knives as well. So it kind of got me into that steel. Um, that's for me, a big thing is edge, edge retention. I'm not somebody who always wants to go back and be sharpening my knives all the time. So I like the fact that it keeps an edge a long time. Now, the second thing I'll mention um, in relation to the style, as far as the blade, this modified cheap's foot, nice point so you can pierce just a nice sweeping edge there's not a huge amount of curve in it um, and i remember when i first gave it to my buddy andy to sharpen he was like man this thing is so nice and easy to sharpen because it doesn't have all kinds of funky angles and weird things so very simple very simple to do um so and that's a plus again for me because i don't like to spend a ton of time sharpening knives and honestly i don't think i'm awesome at it so that's gonna uh, make a difference for me so here's the interesting thing. I was about to roll in right now some footage of the new Benchmade Griptilians. So I contacted the late Boy Scout, a great YouTube channel. If you're not familiar with him, definitely go check him out. Uh, I said, hey, can I use some of your footage? He actually emailed me back and said, hey, why don't I just send you the knives? You can test them out, put them in your video, and then send them back. I said, awesome. So he sent me the knives, and not too long ago, I got this, which on the bottom, it basically says when it arrived in Idaho, or sorry, North Dakota, it had already been opened. So somebody stole his knives. So now he's in the process of getting his knives back and dealing with the United States Postal Service. But in the meantime, I am gonna use uh, some of the footage and a couple of just clips of the new Benchmade Griptilians right here so you can actually see uh, what they look like. Very nice looking knives, handsome blades, new steel, um, new handles, the gray, the blue, just a beautiful combination. Um, because I don't have the knives here to talk about in person, I'll just put a link down below to his review of the new Benchmade Griptilians, and you can head over there and uh, let him know you stopped by because Everyday Tactical Vids sent you over there, and also just check out his videos, good stuff. Uh, another thing I like about this knife in particular is your jimping. So I'll just put it like this, and you can see up top. Jimping on the back here, and then jimping on the spine of the actual blade, and then a little down here on the bottom, and then a tiny bit underneath. Uh, the metal jimping on both on the underside and on the top side, I feel like it's just right. So it's not beating up my hand totally, but it is definitely giving me good solid grip, good solid control um, of the knife, and that that makes a difference to me again. Because if I'm using a EDC knife to kind of I guess do aggressive cutting, I don't want to get totally beat up. But if I am in kind of you know a slick situation, there's water, there's rain, it's humid out. I do believe just that the jimping on the Griptilian is just right for what I'm looking for um, in a knife. The next thing I like is not exclusive to just the Griptilians, but the the access lock is just amazing. Super strong, uh, easy to operate. Uh, it's, it's just impressive. Uh, the Adamus uh, from Benchmade, 
can hold over a thousand pounds of pressure. And then interestingly enough, the, um, the Crooked River, which is really like an oversized EDC knife or a, a nice size hunting or camping knife, also has a huge amount of strength in the access lock. You wouldn't think it would compare you know, that closely to something like the Adamus, which is just totally overbuilt, uh, but it is. So I like the access lock. I feel really comfortable with that. No liners, no frame lock. I don't dislike liners or frames necessarily, but that's just hard to beat. Um, it's it's not on the underside built built into the handle so you don't have any you know things bumping out into your hand when you're gripping on the knife like the frame or the liner and it's not a back lock so you can still operate it very easily um, one-handed another thing I really like about the griptilian is the size of the handle so your thickness and then just also your overall size so this either is the mini grip and then there's a large size grip or the full size griptilian uh, this is the full size and this is just right for me uh, one of the challenges I face is because I have large moving toward extra large hands is that just a lot of knives are too small for me but this one super easy to grab onto just the right size for actually holding it um, and I prefer my knife to be uh, tip up and so you can see also with the um, with the pocket clip which is pretty beat up as you can tell but you can get either side right hand or left hand carry so that's definitely a definitely a plus but you know just a big deal for me that I can actually hold the knife comfortably if I'm using doing aggressive cutting I don't want my hand falling off the edge like this with this thing to me just right so my pinky is still falling on that grip uh, that uh, texture right there on the uh, on the handle it's not falling off the edge and I've just got really good control of the knife. All right, just a few more things here um, I want to mention the blade thickness 0.115 uh, inches thick it's, it's thick enough that it's gonna be sturdy but also still it just slices really well so it's not like it, the, uh, the blade thickness is making things get hung up when you're actually doing um, cutting I can remember the first time I used a BK2 uh, it was sharp, but I just all of a sudden I was like, oh, that's what it's like to use a quarter inch thick knife. Just totally different than something as sleek and slim as this, uh, and yet still has that stoutness so it can handle aggressive use. Two final points. One is uh, your options for your blade style. So you've got your drop point, you got your modified sheep's foot, and then you've got your tanto. So a bunch of different options when it comes to the style of blade that you prefer. And then you do have the, full, the small griptilian and the full size griptilian. So you do even have different sizes you know, for the overall size of your knife. I'll offer this final thought now. Um, I've used this knife quite a bit, so I've EDC'd it for a long time. I've used it in various settings, and it starts to become kind of organic to you. You know the knife, you know how it works, you know how to leverage it and hold it in different ways for different types of uses. Um, now you could say, well, that's true for any knife that you're familiar with, but for some knives, you EDC them for a while, and then you're like, yeah, I don't like this knife that much anymore. I'll give you an example. My One of my first everyday carry knives was the Gerber Remix. Um, but it had a locking mechanism, and then when Gerber changed the remix, they changed the locking mechanism, and I just didn't like it nearly as much. So a very similar style knife, but there were a couple difference that, differences. So when I used it for a while, I was like, nah, this is not the thing for me. I have used this Griptilian a lot, lots of different scenarios, lots of different situations over many years, and I still like it, and I want to keep continue, uh, keep continuing having it as one of my top EDC knives. So when you become familiar with it, you really kind of enjoy it more and more and more as you continue to use it as an EDC knife. So there are my thoughts on Benchmade Griptilians, the full line of them, lots of cool options. They came out with those uh, new handles um, this year. So G10 handles with the gray and with the blue accents, just really, really cool. So uh, yeah, if, if you're looking for an EDC knife, I cannot recommend from my experience, a knife that's better than the Benchmade Griptilian. So I'm gonna keep using this knife. I'll always report it if there's any issues, but I don't expect there to be because I've had it for a while and it has performed in an amazing way for me. So thanks for checking out this video. Links down below if you want to uh, check out Benchmade or head over to Amazon and purchase a Griptilian yourself. Take care.